Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this chiffon blouse that has puffed sleeves here, as you can see. Now the thing with chiffon is this is a great material, great bouncy, billowy blouse look. Um, it does wrinkle pretty easily. And when it comes to your package, it has, you know, significant fold crease lines. Uh, that's just what it's going to be with this material, but it irons out really easily to get a nice flowy look to your blouse. So let me give you a look at this. So as you can see, you've got kind of this tight v-neck here. It's high up on your shoulders, pretty much covering collarbones. This is a size small that I'm wearing. And then you've got the puffed sleeve right here. And you've got a longer short sleeve length right here rather than falling maybe where a t-shirt does. A feature that I love about it, that I just love with blouses, is the longer tail in the back that comes with this. So you've got a little shorter in the front and then it slopes to the back. Um, this is a great shirt to wear in summertime when you're just needing a blouse. It's kind of versatile that you can do it dressy like I have on today. I've got it on with a skirt and heels. Um, but I also feel like this blouse I can wear with jeans or, you know, denim, capris, anything for a more casual look. So I don't think that this blouse is limited to a dressier look for you. Um, so it's kind of versatile there. Also, it looks really cute with layering with like a blazer or a sweater over top. The neck of this blouse and the flowingness of it just looks really good. So I feel like it's great for in the summertime when you just want a breezy, lightweight, short sleeve blouse. But also I could see this being adorable in fall and winter layering with sweaters and blazers. Let me show you the back. Okay, so in the back... There's a button at the top, and then there is a zipper right here, um, and you've got a little scoop neck in the back there that's not too low, which I like. I, I never like things to dip very low in the back. And then the zipper portion comes the whole way down, the whole way down here. Um, for functional reasons, I don't feel like I need to use the zipper or even the button for getting it on and off. I feel like I can just pull it over my head and pull it on without needing to adjust there. It's not too tight up here that I can't like get it over my head. So um, there is a zipper there if you need it, but I don't feel like I necessarily need it to function with this shirt. And if I needed a little bit more room, I would just undo the button at the top to get it on and off. But there is a zipper there. Um, anyway, for this for care and handling, machine wash cold, you can tumble dry. You can certainly dry clean it, obviously. Um, I would probably tumble dry on low heat and make sure that you remove it promptly from the dryer because it is chiffon and will wrinkle or crease pretty easily. But if you get it out right away and hang it, you should be fine. You might need to iron it very quickly. Um, but just a few minutes with an iron gets creases out really nicely. So as you can see, it's just this versatile, flowy blouse that I love. And I really like the length in the back here. And that I can wear this as more casual or dressy. And it certainly goes well with a dressier look. Um, but you can kind of dress up your casual wear with it as well. So that is this blouse. It comes in several different colors. Now, anytime that you're working with a white, you have to deal with it being like a little bit more see-through. If I were to get this in a different color, I wouldn't necessarily worry about that. And I think that just works with all clothes, really. If you get the light, the light colors or white, you have to worry about it being a little bit more see-through. But the material is thick and it's certainly not sheer, so you don't have to be overly concerned about layering. So I was a little nervous going with the white, um, but in this material, in this particular blouse, it is great and I'm not disappointed and I feel like I can wear it without doing crazy layers to cover up any sheerness with it. So it's a great blouse, a nice product, it seems to be well made and the stitching and everything looks good. It feels like it's going to wear. Oh, one thing too with like shoulders and underneath of blouses, like sometimes I feel like material like this, it gets a little tight underneath the armpits and it's uncomfortable to lift your arms, you know what I'm talking about? With this, I don't really have that problem at all. Um, because of the puff sleeve, like it's not too tight on the shoulders or uncomfortable to move your arms. So it's definitely a piece that looks stressier, but is comfortable and you don't have to worry about it cutting in a weird way. So this size small fits me pretty well that I don't have 
too, you know, too much looseness underneath the armpit, which is also generally a problem for me, but it's also not too tight around the shoulder that I can't rotate freely. I don't know if you guys have that problem with blouses, but I typically do with blouses or dresses that cut around the arms and drive me crazy. That I love them, but they just feel uncomfortable. This I can wear and I'm not going to like come home from church or come home from an event where I'm wearing it and want to change my clothes. I could wear this all day and be comfortable. So that's a closer look at this blouse. I hope that that is more helpful to give you a look of what it looks like all around with somebody wearing it rather than just looking at some pictures.